Hey guys, and welcome back to Stormlock 2. Uh, last episode, we had a bit of an issue. Well, it wasn't really an episode, but I made this video talking about the issue I had with the EMC situation here, right? Our EMC network being broken. And just figuring out what I should do, asking you guys for opinions, etc. And I guess the consensus is that we should just go ahead and keep going. I mean, we have the EMC farm, you know, it's not like this would run out. It is just a matter of time to get as much EMC as we want. And you can see it's still going, even though. Oh, hey, the number changed. Would you look at this? It is so weird. I don't know why the number keeps changing. That is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, so I think I guess it kept adding it over time, but it maybe didn't update right away. I don't know. I don't know. It makes no sense. Sorry, 12,000 things in there. Anyway, so we're just going to keep going, and I think we might actually be able to finish today. And by finish, I mean, you know, finish the pack in a way that I'm happy with and just move on. I don't want to finish all the quests in here. I think that's uh, unnecessarily, especially with like the buckets of whatever, right? It's it's no fun to me. Um, I had I had a lot of fun playing this pack. And I'll talk about this pack more later on, but yeah, I think I think it's good to move on to something else. I'm ready to move on to something else. I got my my uh, I don't know portion of fun. That's not what you say. I don't know what you say. I I, I had a lot of fun with this, so yeah. Um, so the things we want to finish up though are these things down here, all the infinity items, right? The tools, the weapons, etc. Um, so that would be nice to have and before we do actually we do have still 16 quests unclaimed or rewards unclaimed Anything interesting in here? Uh, void or minor? No, nothing super cool. Just another nether star. Oh, it's a compressed nether star block. That's actually pretty cool. That would have been Really good early on because then you could probably have made I don't know like, uh, you know some of these seeds or something earlier. Maybe I'm not sure but let's just put the stuff away again. I may actually need those ender chests, now I think about this. And I did accidentally put away my crafter. Uh, let's get that guy back, because we will need it. And the flux point uh, that I also just put away. I should just have them in my back, really. But uh, the thing we need to do right now is work on the infinity armor. That one is the more complicated one, because it does require this armor piece, the gem armor from Project E, right? So let's just look up... Uh, gem, yeah, that's well, let's do project E gem, maybe there we go. So, yeah, we need all of those things, and they require a couple of items to craft. The actual armor is relatively easy. We can, like the, the, the original pieces, we can do these super fast, and that also finishes up some of the quests in the EMC category. And speaking of like finishing off every single quest, like there are silly quests like this, for example, this one, big spender, right. Spend this much EMC. That's just a ridiculous amount of EMC. Like, <laughs> what's that gonna be? Just sit around and wait for EMC to finish up? That's just dumb. So, yeah. I don't think you always, like, you know, uh, the quests are there to guide you and stuff, but I don't think you always have to finish all the quests necessarily. It is just here to have fun. Okay. And now we need all of these parts. Now, these are super easy. All of these things we require here are extremely easy to make, right? Those are just basic items. There's nothing in here that's super difficult. The only difficult thing are these Stein, uh, uh, Klein Stars, Omegas. Uh, we need these four of them. They're all the same, right? Yeah, Omega ones. And you make them by crafting them with the four previous, which are the four previous, which are the four previous. You get the drill up to here, right? That's like the first one. And since we have the EMC, I figure we can probably just, uh, you know, um, craft these and use a uh, EMC thing. Do we not have that fuel in here, really? Uh, may have to get this from over here. Ooh, for some reason it's lagging today, I'm not sure why. I think it's my PC, I think I have to just restart or something, but... Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. There's nothing going on here. Oh, you can't... Oh, it requires the, the Philosopher Stone again. To like turn this back. I just want to have some here so we can, you know, craft this once and then we use a crafter and EMC to duplicate these. And I want to see how fast that would be. Now, I'm actually not sure. Hmm, where do we put this? Let's go downstairs maybe into one of these rooms. Let's go. Let's do it over here. I have like a little row here. I'm not sure if, you know, like when we demonstrated how broken the EMC network is right now, um, it wouldn't always let me recreate certain objects. So I'm not sure if this one will work. 
And I guess I put away my EMC link. That was a personal EMC something link. And we have translocators as well, glowstone. And we'll see how this works. So we just put this guy in here and say we want to recreate these guys. Because this might bug out too. It might not actually create as many as we want, but we'll see. It's supposed to be a lot of EMC and C. <laughs> it only created one. <laughs> Which is 24,000. Really? Oh, no, never mind. It did okay. For some, okay, I just didn't see the them go past. Never mind. All right, and then we set up some recipes. Hopefully, we have enough for all of them. I'm not sure um, how many crafts that requires. So, internal. And actually, it's. Ugh, let's turn this off for a second so it doesn't keep filling it up with stuff. Just to make this a bit easier. So that's client star number two makes this guy, which is this one here. So you just keep going like this, right? Same recipe over and over. There we go. Those are dry. They are in German. Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. There's loud cars outside. What's going on here? There we go. No, something is... Huh, it's acting up weird. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should close the window. <laughs> but it is kind of warm. Um, let's put these back inside. Okay, this is here. We need this is the sphere. Okay, so come on, give me your stuff. And okay, those are the ones, the latest ones. So one more here. Dup, 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 dup. And that makes the Omega. That's the one we want, right? So apply. Well, I didn't even have to set up this whole system for this because we already have like two of them. There we go, that's the ones we need, right? Yes. <laughs> so that was way easier than I thought it would be. And what we could do is, yeah, let's just do this, why not? Let's grab an Omega. And we just add this to a system here. There we go, you go in there and we just send stuff back. Might as well, right? Let's maybe put it in the center here. That kind of works. And we just send this back into our system. Not sure why, but we could, right? So there we go. We are producing these things now. We also make this on fast mode. Doesn't help. There we go. Cool. So now we're getting these guys, right? Can only have... Uh, one? Oh, these don't stack. Oh, these don't stack. Hold on. That might be an issue then, because they're going to go into our system itself. Okay, I guess I won't do this for now. We could hook up one of these crazy barrels again to do this, but I guess it's fine. And uh, here, learn this one. Sure, why not? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wait, did I see my EMC change? No, I thought I did. There for a second. Anyway, let's grab some of these ingots that we totally legit made over time. Uh, and try to assemble this. So I'm just going to go ahead and craft a bunch of these things. I never hooked up the fluid crafting, unfortunately. I probably should have done that. Because we probably don't have stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to craft up these things. It takes a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think we have it all. So let's see if you can make this. Yeah, there's the gem armor helmet. Chest plate. Pants. Oh, no, pants. What am I missing? A... Wait, why do I have... Huh? Where did they go? Yeah, where did they go? <laughs> that is a good question. Like, if is this not hooked up to the right thing? Oh, they, oh, they don't have time to get in there. Yeah, it's too. It's still too slow. I tried to add some pipes here too. This thing just can't pull out items fast enough. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever had that many items come into the system, but that's kind of cool. I like it. Okay, there we go. And last but not least, the pans. Let's take a look at this armor set. Whoop! And oh yeah, we run faster. It gets. It gives you the effects from the the rings and such we added, right? I think this has flight too. Create a flight. Oh, and you go down really fast. That's interesting. Apologize for, apologies for the stutter. I'm not sure why it is doing that, but yeah, kind of not good. Do we have step assist? No step assist. Interesting. Uh, and I think there is a shift X. Might be conflicting with stuff. I guess if I just look for X. Oh, it's this one here. Let's remove these guys and that should fix it. There we go. Night vision enabled. But then how do you enable this? Oh, just X. Step assist. Ah, cool. That's, that's pretty neat. How good is this armor? Probably not that good. Looking at the stats, I mean, this one is better, I think. But yeah, we're not going to go with this stuff anyway. We just need this for crafting. So let's take it off again. Put on our, our other stuff for now. So the next step then is to take these 
and craft them together with a bunch of infinity ingots and neutronium ingots to make the infinity armor. And the infinity armor is fancy. I love the look of that one. So let's get a bunch of these guys. Hopefully that's enough. Go to our extreme crafting. And we can just click, right click on them to see the usage for it. And it brings us to the right page. And there it is. Infinity armor. Oh, you need a catalyst. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, do I have one in here? Nope. I guess we can grab one from here if it lets me. Which it does. Last time it didn't really sometimes. And boom. There it is. Now that is good armor. Boink. Now this one, of course, you know, it, uh, it makes it invulnerable. It says you know, plus 16 armor and stuff, but it actually is invulnerability. We're super fast. Why is it so laggy? We can fly, not fast up and down, but really fast, you know, normal flight forward. <laughs> um, and we have a cool look. We have this like infinity texture on us, the, the space on it. And when you fly, you get these fancy wings. They're so pretty. I really like this. These wings. Oh, you can only see them from the front, huh? Interesting. Yeah, that that is fancy. That is really fancy. Cool. So we got those guys, and then we can put away our old armor here. The uh, the Infinity armor is actually slightly too fast for me personally. Like I always, when I had it in Project Ozone Two, I sometimes took it off because it was too fast <laughs> to get around. But it is it is fun, right? So, uh, what do we do here? Do you have specific names? No. Okay. Well, we have to make all of these tools too, and they're pretty similar. They all require just mostly the infinity ingots and neutronium ingots. Sometimes they require a block of infinity, and this guy requires a crystal matrix block, right? So no big deal also, so we can just make that, and we also make a block of this. There we go, and uh, we actually need more neutronium. There we go. And we just grab a little bit more of this, right? So, uh, first of all, the sword. Oh, this one actually needs a bit more. Forgot about the sword and such. Let's get a bit more and another star thingy. Uh, there we go. The sword of the cosmos, right? Infinity attack. Now, the problem with the sword, while it looks extremely fancy with the star field, it, uh, it doesn't apparently damage the ender chicken, so... Won't be able to use it for that, but you know, at least we have it. The bow requires wool and another crystal matrix, okay. I don't actually know. Wool, do we have some? Yeah, I don't think I ever added this to our system here. Yeah, there we go. Because I actually needed wool before and I had to like get the string and do it in a weird way. It was not good. Uh, let's do craft. I'm guessing the bow doesn't damage the chicken either. But I'm not entirely sure, it's just a guess. There's the pickaxe, it always comes with Fortune 10. And it has another option, that we're in a different mode that we'll check out in a bit. It's a very dangerous mode. Uh, let's put away some things here, it's getting a bit crowded. I guess we didn't need that many stacks maybe. Okay, the shovel. Which, uh, you know, just fast digging speed. I'm not sure if that has something special. Nature's Ruin, an axe. Hey, we finished com extreme crafting. And a hoe. I guess it didn't require us to make the hoe. Because <laughs> that would be silly, right? But we'll make it anyway. Yeah. I have a feeling the hoe probably tills a ton of land, so I'm not gonna check this out right now. I'm just gonna put this away. We have the axe. We don't really need any of these things, to be honest. But yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Let's go to the mining dimension to show this, I guess. Alright. Mining dimension and yeah, it's like, you know, instant mining. Uh, do we have instant mining while flying? Yes, we do, which is super cool. But then you can also, I think, shift right click, it turns it into this hammer, which now... <laughs> Ooh, that was close there. It just destroys things. I forgot how big this is. I want to say 25 by 25, but I could be wrong. And I think... Um, I thought it drops a... Oh, it probably has been picked up here. Yeah, it drops these matter clusters and... This is basically where all your items we just mined are stored in, right? Because there would be a huge amount of items just on the ground, lagging the game. They give you this matter ball instead. If you right click this, that will, uh, you know, create the items. I guess we can try it. Boink! There's all the items, right? So, if you want it back, that's how you get it back. That's a lot of stuff too. 
just uh, get rid of that. We don't need it, right? Very cool, though. Very cool, too. So be careful with this. Disable it again. Um, shovel. Super fast shovel. Do we have a... Sh oh, yeah. You have a ship right click mod, too. Ah, cool. It does the same with dirt. But not stone. Cool. Interesting. So it's the same mod. I don't think the sword has anything. I'm guessing the axe would do the same as well. And you know what? Since we're here, let's try out that hole. Because I want to see if it does something fancy. It doesn't have a right click mode. So let's just, uh, I guess, get some more of this dirt here. Don't want you. Just to do it. Just to try it out. Like, if I right click this. Yeah, it just does it uh, in a huge area, right? Cool. It even did it over there, which is crazy. Nice. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. And yes, that finished off the entire quest series on this side, right? The entire quest, uh, whatever you want to call it. But let's go back. We are not done. We are not quite done yet. All right. I also just turn off the farm here because I think it helps a bit with the lag. Um, but yeah, like I said, this sword apparently doesn't hurt the chicken at all. And we do want to go fight the chaos chicken, which is like the next one, right? The one after the ender chicken up here which requires a dragon egg on the Ring of Diamond. It won't hurt us at all because we have this insane armor, which you're, you're invincible. Nothing will be able to hurt you. Um, but we need a better sword, right? I mean, we could just get our Vyvon sword and keep hitting it with this one, right? But I think, I just for fun, I want to get the um, Draconic Evolution Staff of Power. I don't think I've ever made this guy, and it has a 60 attack damage by default, which is crazy. But it does require all the other, other tools. It requires the Draconic Sword, the Pickaxe, and the Shovel. And then you need this uh, in the uh, Draconic uh, Infusion recipe, right? And these guys, let's see, are they difficult? No, they just require cores. Which um, we could probably easily make, yeah. But we have to craft them once, but then we can use EMC to get them. And I'm guessing all the other tools are pretty much the same, right? They all require also the previous tools, so yeah. So I think I'm gonna go do this. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of crafting too. And actually, before we do this, I just wanna, out of curiosity again, how much is that book that unlocks everything in your system? That is, oh right, that was the Chaotic Core, which we can do afterwards, actually. Maybe we'll do this as the last final step. That might be kind of fun. Uh, which requires a tablet first, which I think we can make then, because these have EMC too. But yeah, one step at a time. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead, make this uh, Draconic Staff. It's going to be very, very repetitive too, so I don't think I'm going to show this on camera. I'll just go ahead and craft it, so I'll be back soon. All right, here we go. There it is, Power Staff being crafted up. No problem with the power there either. And I guess we're just going to add, like, Sharpen... Sharpness 3 or something on top as well. But there we go, we have it. Go up here. Do we don't have our charger at the moment, do we? So uh, let's put you over here, maybe, where there's power. Uh, let's see if this is gonna just gonna take a while. In the meanwhile, I'll make some sharpness books. We don't already have some. Uh, sharpness. Let's see. Sharpness three. Is there anything else I want on there? Withering might be interesting. Oh, that's only for bows, though. I think knockback. Nah. All right, doesn't matter. I'll just put sharpness three on there. There we go. Sharpness 3. It's not fully charged, but I can't be bothered standing there and wait. It takes too long. <laughs> it just holds so much power. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, we need to get the chicken hammer again, I'm guessing. I'm just going to put away things I don't need anymore. I guess that will just be really everything, right? Do we need anything in here? I don't think we do. I guess I keep my terminal just in case. Can't use the sword, like I said. And we're just going to grab a dragon egg. Which, oh yeah, we don't actually have, uh, wait, I can do it from here. I was going to say, how am I going to grab one? They're being consumed all the time. And we're just going to go back to the end and summon a giant chaos chicken. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot, uh, one benefit of this infinity armor also is that you don't actually have to eat anymore. You will always have full hunger and saturation, which is great. All right, we are back. We can annihilate these endermen with no problem and they will give us a you know, they would give us a bunch of ender pearls and such too. That was one. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it would give more because of looting ten. But uh apparently not. But yeah, this sword is just insane. And here if you look at him, you know, he tries to hurt us. He can't do anything to us. 
Oh, I'm not using my sword. That, whoops, that's the sword. I was using the staff. Or was I using the sword? I actually have no idea. No, doesn't seem to give me looting either. But yeah, does this staff do anything else? I wonder. I actually never used it. It just seems... Um, it's no shift right click. I mean, it's a pickaxe too, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one... Oh, it's still one shots them. Okay, that is uh, extremely loud. Let's just turn this down. Nope, oh, has to be an even number. <laughs> Can't be a weird number. Stop it! Yeah, if you spam like this, it won't do enough damage, of course. But this sword would. Yeah, you know, like you can just swing it like crazy and it would just be normal. In You know, insta kill. Which is crazy. Hi, guys. I can kill you all. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, uh, I think we should probably get to kill the chicken instead. Hopefully we can. Hopefully the chicken doesn't have like an anti-cheese option where you can't... Oh, we need a diamond block. Where we can't... Um, uh, where it can still hurt us or something. That would not be good. Um, in either case, it would probably end the, the, the series. <laughs> but let's try. Throw the egg on there. And see what the chaos chicken looks like. I'm guessing it's red, like the chaos dragon from Draconic Evolution. But I guess we'll find out. Ooh, even in, if you turn off the UI, you still see this stuff, huh? That's unfortunate. Go away, sir. I want to watch this. I want to watch the chaos chicken emerge. It's still the same color. Right now. Still the dragon egg, which makes sense, I guess. And... Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's do a selfie. Oh, but that's not a good position. Gotta do a selfie from over here. Show yourself, please. Man, he takes a while, huh? Yes, we are waiting. Okay. He can hatch now. There he is. What? Hold on. Is that this sound? There's music. <laughs> I guess that was it. Oh, he's still hatching. There he is. Hi. Wow. Wow. He's a he's a talker. I, I need more of this music. Hold on. I need I just need to Ow. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm dancing to your music. Whoa, we killed everyone. What a crazy guy. Okay. Yeah, let's try the sword here and see what happens. I'm pretty sure you can't. The sword of the cosmos does not kill, the sword of the cosmos heals. Oh, these eggs are like homing. They're homing eggs. Can you... No, you can't throw them back. Damn, that's... That guy's destruction. Causes destruction. Alright, let's see if our staff does anything. Yes. Not amazing, but good enough, right? This would be difficult without crazy armor, I think. This guy seems a little bit insane. And boom! Good day, mate. You're supposed to whack him chick. Oh, he's still, still, still alive. Never mind. Boom! <laughs> there he goes. Wait. Oh. I thought it was going to be a second form. Because he was smack talking. <laughs> that music though is amazing. <laughs> oh, what a dumb thing. I love it. I love it. We even got some loot chests here, but it is time to go back. Oh yeah, we can do home home, right? Forgot about this. It's quicker. Very cool though. We did it. We defeated the chicken with no problem thanks to our very overpowered... 
armor. Hair charm. Let's put away this stuff. And we got the... The thing we came for. The chaos shards, right? And we can, of course... Because they have EMC. Learn them. And now have maybe chaos shards for days? It's always hard to tell if it actually gives me the item or not. Depending on how much EMC we have. Yeah, that was that. Was that. I mean, you know, that kind of finished that up. And like I said, we could maybe make this tome if we want to. Uh, do I want to do this, though? I mean, oh, that requires HTPE stuff, though, and I don't have that set up at all. Nah, I think we good. <laughs> I think we good. All it is is just it unlocks every single item that you could ever craft in this table, but yeah, I think we good. Let's double check the quest here. We have another 16 rewards. Anything amazing? Uh, nope, nothing, nothing that I can tell. And yeah, I think we're just gonna call this here. I had fun. Let me just double check this. Yeah, we could craft some of these things, but we good, we good. Um, yeah, I had fun with this bag. I, I definitely had fun, you know, like I've been kind of haven't played Minecraft for a while. So coming back to a more techie pack has has been uh, fun and refreshing, I guess, because I've always been playing some more like low tech stuff. So kind of like squeezing something in like this in between where it's all about high tech stuff and uh, crazy amounts of resources is super fun. Um, Overall, I think a lot of the enjoyment for me though came from making videos. If I if I wasn't making the videos and you know like interact with you guys, I probably would have quit this pack a while ago <laughs> to be honest. But just the fact that you know we could share some some ideas and stuff and do things together here uh, is definitely what makes it more fun. I don't think like as much as fun as I had, I don't think this is a well made pack to be honest. It seems very random sometimes the decisions they made and a little bit you know thrown together i guess uh, i don't know but i mean there was a stone block 1 which i haven't played and stone block 2 came out so quickly after one so i guess you can't really there can't be too much different i suppose but you know the fact that we have thorncraft in here is just so odd right i love this mod and we didn't actually get into this at all because it just doesn't fit like where does this fit into this is not a powerful mod if you compare it to anything else that's in this pack, right? Um, it's just in here because now it's under the FTB brand and they seem to like to promote Thorncraft is kind of <laughs> what I get. Maybe that's why. I don't know because this wasn't even the first storm block, you know, so it's kind of odd. And then having three different ways of gathering infinite amounts of resources seems a little bit strange too to me. But I've seen other packs do that too where they have mystical crops and then fluid cows or some or chickens you know like two of them or something but we have all three in here and they're very redundant but at the same time it's kind of cool that you get to choose what you want to go with you know you're not forced into one of them you can decide to either go with chickens either cows or either crops um although some of them don't have what the others have right like the cows have infinity buckets which is one way of getting infinity ingots which the other things don't have right the crops and the chickens don't have that stuff so it seems odd it seems odd so there's there's a couple of these things where i'm like why do why do we have both why do we have java barrels and storage rods it, it just doesn't seem maybe that's just you know that's just me like i like packs that are a bit more streamlined and mods that exist or the mods that are in the pack are there for a reason not just because it's a cool mod and you know people like it um i kind of like it when there's not as much redundancy so that's just my personal preference. But, you know, despite all of that, I think it was still fun, enjoyable. But yeah, I think we're going to call it here. Uh, move on to something else. So what's next? You might have seen I already uploaded a new series called Manufactio. It's kind of mixed between Minecraft and Factorio. I think we'll dive into this a bit more. We'll see how far we get into it. But I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. And we'll see, you know, just how it evolves over time. Um, I, I have no idea yet. So it's something we have to figure out. That's always the thing with, like, jumping into mod packs blindly right you don't actually know if you'll enjoy them over a long time right like you just know maybe try it out a bit and see oh this looks interesting i'll I'll give it a shot but you know it's it's always possible that over time you lose interest and just have to move on to something else you shouldn't force yourself to play something just to finish it um should just be fun but then also one i probably the biggest suggestion has been in uh, enigmatica 2 expert and I did actually play it a little bit on my own the other day for like an hour or two, just to see what it's about. And I gotta say, I like it. Um, it seems the the recipes seem 
just about the right difficulty that I would like. Um, I like it when, you know, there's no early ore doubling, things seem expensive, and you kind of like forced into one or two mods at the beginning. So that that seemed fun. And and I've been kind of craving some older mods like Industrial Craft and so on. So uh, that one, for example, starts here with Industrial Craft if you want to. So that we might do it. We might do it. But that's a huge pack, a huge pack that would probably take forever. And I'm not sure if I will be committing, you know, if I, if I will go through all of it, right? But at least we can jump into it and see how we like it. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind and <laughs> become super addictive to it. Um, and then I also keep getting questions about Automaton and if manufacturer is kind of replacing this. I'm honestly not sure. That's just my answer. I, I don't know. I do want to go back to Automaton, but I've just not felt any like inspiration or anything in that mod pack recently, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to do that next. And I think tech-wise, Manufactio and Automaton are very similar. They both have, you know, immersive engineering and mechanism stuff in there. So I don't know. It, it might become repetitive, but never say never. I, I'm not. I'm not putting that. You know, I'm not canceling that series yet or anything. It's not completely done. There's a chance I'll go back to it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah. I'm gonna focus a bit on manufacture. Maybe we'll start in in a uh, uh, I can't say the word Enigmatica two expert as well, or maybe we'll do it afterwards. Not sure if it's a good idea to have two series at the same time, but I'll I'll figure it out. You'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks a lot for the support for this series too. That was really awesome of you guys. This has been super fun to me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well, and I will see you guys very soon with something else. Bye bye. Oh oh, and I will put the download for this map in the description below too if you want to download my little base here. All right, bye.